Yo, what up? This your man, K Boogie, Mike Check Media. Chapter 3, we already done made it to Pioneers of Hip Hop, Diary of an MC. Man, I got a cool, cool brother on, on the line with me tonight. We got none other than my man, Granddaddy IU. What's going on with you, brother? Ain't nothing chilling, man. Um, and it's just waking up. <laughs> shit. But I'm, I'm, I'm up now. I'm, I'm all right. I'm chilling. Definitely, man. Hey. On behalf of Mike Tech Media, myself and my uh, business partner, Carolyn, man, we definitely want to extend our gratitude and thanks for, you know, taking part in the series. You know, this is one of the things that we feel is necessary, you know, for hip-hop is pay, definitely paying homage, man, and educating those ones who don't know about the pioneers, man, who laid the foundation, brothers like yourself. Right, right, right. That's what's up, my lot. Well, me, myself, I, I wouldn't even say I'm a pioneer, man, because I, I, I look up to cats like the Kill is four and Cold Crush four and you know Fantastic Five, Busy B and Kumo B and all them cats. You know what I'm saying? That that really really started it back in the seventies. I mean, I can't I can't eighty nine. Oh yeah, no, yeah, would, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, no as doubt. far as like this generation, yeah, maybe, but yeah, no doubt, man. And, and now uh, one of the things that we definitely you know want to go. It's, you know, just give us a little a history of, you know, yourself, uh, your your early beginnings. I mean, you definitely hit us with your, you know, your inspirations of, you know, who you feel out of pioneers. And, you know, just tell us a little bit, you know, about Granddaddy IU and how you, you know, made your presence known, man, in, in, this, in this realm of hip-hop. Oh, well, um, I got signed in 89, 1989. You know what I'm saying? I was what's uh, so-called discovered by Bismarck, and um, I'm from Long Island. And um, he had a he had a um, production pill, and one of his mans was from Long Island. You know, I, I was I was doing my little rapping thing around the way, and he told him told Biz, you know, the cat I you was nice, so he came he heard some of my shit. So you know, one thing led to the next thing, and that was it. I got signed to Cold Chilling. You know what I'm saying? My vibe came out of 1990. You know, I've been doing that ever since then. No doubt, no doubt. Now, uh, Cold Chillin', man, you know, at the time, that's uh, the label with the Juice Crew. So how was it, you know, vibing with Kane and Marley Marl? Yeah, Kane, Cool G Rap, well, I was saying Shantae, MC Chan, all of them. Yeah, I mean, it was all right. I mean, those, though, like Kane, Kane was, you know, definitely an early influence, you know what I'm saying, him and the rock and the Cool G Rap. So, you know, when I was on that same label, I was, like, kind of crazy in the beginning, but, you know, like we all human basically, you know, so you saw like, you know, the first time I seen him I'm like, yo, this this the cat, you know, these are things that I hear on the radio, but you know, it, it was you know it was just regular it was regular, you know what I'm saying? I went on tour with him and we every every died. It's regular no people. Doubt. Man. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely no doubt. So now who was doing, you know, uh, like a production was Marley still doing producing when you know when you dropped your album? Not for me. No, um, he never did none of my, my production. Me, and my brother actually did all all of our production, even though um, this Marl got the credit for it because, like I said, we signed to this production, okay, this production company. And, you know, he you know, at, at the time, I didn't, I didn't know that's how it went. You know what I'm saying? That you do your own production and he he get the credit and, and have the money. And, Publishing and all that, so that was like definitely sour to me. That that's what soured me to the game. Like your word, this nigga get, get half my shit. He ain't do nothing, but you know. Damn. Yeah. Wow. So, right. so it, it it was one of those things where his name was on it, so he got half the money. Yeah, half the money, half the publishing, and all the credit. And it was actually your brother who did the production. Yeah, me and my brother, wow. yeah, me and my brother did the whole shit. You know what I mean? Or, or for that, over that first album, he did one joint. It was called Soul Touch. And that was my least favorite joint on the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, now, I guess, you know, from your perspective, after, after learning about this, uh, I mean, I guess it was kind of a, 
a learning experience for you and, and, and moving on to another deal. So how did that work? I mean, as far as with the, with the, with the next joint, was it still, was he still getting credit production credit on that too? Nah, he didn't actually. But, um, it's like we, this shit took so long to get out of that shit, out of the situation. And then when I finally did, it's when um, Coach Chen lost a lost the um, distribution deal with Warner, and so we was like, and, and we didn't know that we could have got out of the whole Coach Chen contract at the time, being that they had no distribution, but we didn't know that, so we stuck until they finally landed another distribution deal with um with Epic. At the time, Epic didn't have no didn't have no hip hop, you know and so. We was like the Kenny Pig. They had to, they formed some shit called Epic Street and put us on there. And um, that shit was fucking faster. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now that was something that I was definitely going to kind of get into, you know, uh, a little bit later down the line was the deals, man, and how artists, you know, uh, were got took, you know, got taken, you know, as far as with the deals that they were signing and and, and stuff like that, and you know, just kind of educating some of the cats out now who, you know, thirsty for a deal and not really knowing what they, yeah. you know, how the, how, the, how the game works. I mean, and with you yeah, now they, like that. Now they got the, uh, the, the 360 deals that, that they got now. That's the crazy shit. Like, all the, all the cats, they get your publishing, they get part of your your, your um, show money, your endorsement, every, whatever you do, they get part of that shit now. Like, it was like that then. I mean, we was, we was, we was getting jacked. And jerk, <laughs> but they ain't like like this now. It's just this this crazy. Like if you if you take your money and open a motherfucking Burger King, they's gonna get PC off of that. Damn, that is wow. crazy right now. But but at the same time, there's much more money involved than it was back then. So I guess it's this all how you look at it. You know what I'm saying some people is like, well, fuck it. If they gonna give me five million dollars, and then Take some of my publishing, take some of my motherfucking show money into there. Fuck it, I'm already, I already got five off the rip. Yeah. People look at it like that. Some people look at it like, nah, man, you don't deserve, you know what I'm saying, what you get from me. So, plus right now, like, independent, it, it, it's so easy to go independent now and, and, and get bread. So, back then, you couldn't do it like that. Yeah, and it seems like a lot of artists, man, are going at independent routes to. Uh, is that, uh, you know, I guess more beneficial for an artist, you know, like yourself to, to go that route to where you, you know, kind of getting more of the money, more of the, more of the pies, they say? Yeah, you get you get all your shit now. Like wow. you couldn't, there was no such thing back then. <clears throat> yeah, plus, you know, with the internet and all this other shit, like it's, it's so easy to get music out right now. Back then you couldn't get that shit, shit out unless, you know what I'm saying, you sign to a label. Right. Now you don't have to sign to nobody. But you, you got to have, have promotion. Yeah, you just got to have promotion. And, you know, a team. That's the, you know, way to put that work in. Man, so now, another thing, you know, that I, I did want to ask you about, too, and, you know, that we started to incorporate in the interviews is the touring. And, you know, I know a lot of stuff that kind of goes on behind the scenes on touring sure. that maybe some of the fans never hear about. What's some of the wildest stuff you see, man, out there on tour? Wow. A whole lot of shit. Well, you know, most of it <laughs> is, is dealing with groupies and shit. You know, it's, all the, it's, it's mostly wild shit with the sex and shit. But, like, I think we was in Pittsburgh. The motherfuckers was, you know, after the show, when we doing the show, some, you know, Somebody, the last motherfucker on stage won't call out what well, hotel we all staying at. And so, you know, that's how the, all, the, all the girls come in, whatever, whatever. But you got male groups that come there. So we in Pittsburgh, and niggas want to come to our room. Like, fuck you want niggas in our room for? What the fuck out of here? So niggas, niggas got <laughs> mad because we, cause we didn't let them come in the room. Niggas came out the elevator and just started shooting the whole motherfucking hotel up. Oh. And niggas were running to it. Yeah, the word's wrong. Like, yo. And niggas run to whatever room you can go in. You gotta get the fuck wow. out of like shit was crazy because you because you because we don't want you in our room and you would you would do the fuck like yo that shit was crazy. 
Well, you know, luckily, ain't nobody, ain't nobody get hit. Yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. Man, so that, that definitely had to be something that's wild. Now, uh, yeah. the music now, you know, um, as far as hip hop and you know uh, what's going on now, how do you feel? You know, where you come into it? At, uh, are you adapting, or are you keeping your style, or what's your new music that you got coming out now? Yeah, much to this, much to this hip hop strictly. Like I'm not like niggas talking about adapt or die. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that shit. Man. I keep it hip hop, hundred percent. Like all this other shit. Like to me, it's not hip hop. Like niggas is rhyming off techno beats or pop, you know what I'm saying, whatever have you. Just because you spit a sixteen on it, don't make this shit hip hop. Fuck out of right. here. Like fuck out of here. Like ha ha. How you gonna rhyme on country western shit and call it hip hop? That, that don't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it, it, certain form. Exactly. You know, because what we got now is a, a straight watered down version, and you know, um, yeah. we talk with brother oh, this Euro, this Euro shit, this Euro uh, techno shit, and all man. Now, come on, man. <laughs> that shit is not hip hop. Yeah, man, no doubt, man. And, and, and that's funny that you you know you mentioned that because. We interviewed Brother Jay from X Clan, and he mentioned the same thing, man. You got a thousand cats, man, that's been patting themselves out through, you know, a Lil Wayne or, you know, um, mm-hmm. just whoever out here, man, that's really, you know, been saturated the game and just really made it difficult for anybody to really eat or make any money. Yeah. You yeah. know, and everybody and their mama doing it now. Right. And that's the thing. Mm-hmm. And nobody yeah, well, is. I mean, you, got, you, got, you got motherfuckers like Cash Money signing Paris Hilton and shit like that. What? what how? How? Would, how would, come on, man. That's just. It's crazy right now, man. Yeah, you would never yeah. see that, man, with Def Jam or, yeah. or or Cold yeah. Chilling back in the day. You wouldn't see that. Nah, it's all, all gimmicks and shit now. And the music is just fucking trash. And anybody, anybody can get on. Like, what's 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 the name? Cray Sean, whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the white girl from um, Open somewhere. Come on. Yeah. Man. How the fuck she get a deal? Come on. <laughs> and they call that shit hip hop. Right. I mean, they've taken it, man, and, and just turned it turned it inside out, and they pimping it. They really pimping hip hop, man. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not the hip hop that I grew up on. Definitely not. No, nah, it's not hip hop at all. And then, just nah. like Scarface said. In 25 years, they're going to be fucking writing history saying that white people made this shit. And motherfuckers going to believe it. No doubt. No doubt. You said a mouthful. That's it, man. You know, that's just, and that's just how it is, man. I mean, and, you know, uh, they taking cats, man, and, and putting out, I, and really all the all the, the label companies, man, they're looking for is this one hit, and then they'll put the rest of this garbage album out. Mm-hmm. And then just keep it moving yeah. and go to the next cat, the next thing that's jumping. I mean, so we got so many cats, man, that's in and out. And like you said, it's just making it harder for the real hip hop to filter through all the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, the radio DJs, them niggas is like, they so fucking soft, man. They they don't take, they're not taking a stand. Because I know they, they hate the shit that they got to play, but they playing the shit because, you know, this is their job. And they dropping bombs on this shit, and they like, yo, this the new crazy shit. This shit is so hot. Lying like a motherfucker. They know it. They don't play that shit in their car. You know what I'm saying? They don't play that shit at home. They hate that shit, but they gotta do it. Instead, instead of taking a stance, saying, yo, check this out. We protesting. We boycotting because we don't want to play this shit. Right, right. They, they, they do it. They do it because it's a check. This is come on Sunday. They got no integrity. Yeah, and no, nobody's taking the stance, man. For like you said, I mean, you, they're not playing it in their car, but they're doing it for this check. Yeah. And then they bring them cats up in the studio like they the truth and lying to their yeah. faces. No one is not the truth. Yep. Exactly. That's what it is, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so let's talk about your music now, man. Uh, what's going on, you know, with Granddaddy? Are you you touring? You you back in the lab? Uh, you got new joint out? I'm in the lab. I got a I got a video I just me and Sadat X called She Said. Oh I yeah, that's what did that like, like um, 
like two months ago. I'm trying to finish this album. My fucking hard drive crashed with all my songs, so I had to go back and make all the songs and shit. But I got like a couple of joints to do. That's it. Can't get the mixes out of it. She's done. Anyway, she's going to be called P-I-M-P. That's faith is my priority. Okay. No doubt. Maybe the album. Yeah. So, so we definitely yeah. going to be for the joint, man. We got to get yeah. it. We got to, once you release it, man, we got to get you back on so we can talk about the new album, man. And I'm definitely going to be checking yeah. for the one with Sports man. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's hard, too. Like, it, it's, if you hear this shit, it's, you're going to be like, yo, this is what I'm talking about. It's that, this that shit I'm talking about. Yeah, real well, listen, that real hip hop. I know Sadat X was, uh, you know, got got a new joint out too. So definitely, man, uh, you know, it's something that we we need, man. The streets been been thirsting for it for a long time. So we looking for that joint, man. And uh, we talked to Positive Tay, man, not too long ago, and he said that yeah, him and Greg man. Knight got a new joint. A word, I ain't know about yeah, that one. Yeah, man, him and Greg yeah. Knight have formed the group, man. So they got an oh, album shit. that's both. Dropping in September, man. So that that pure hip hop is out there. You just mm-hmm. got to keep checking for it, man. Yeah. Definitely, you yeah. know that. Now, um, we'll get you to tell the fans, man, where they can find you at. You know, on Twitter, uh, Facebook, where we can get the new music at. You know, just kind of yeah. give a whole social media rundown where we can get where we, you know, the fans can keep checking for you. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on um, I'm on Facebook. I got the um, the fan pages, Granddaddy IU, my my personal page on there because I answer that whoever. But my personal page too is um, original Granddaddy. Um, I'm on Twitter is at Granddaddy IU. Um, what else? I'm on Instagram, Granddaddy IU, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm all over, all that shit. Whatever social media, I'm on it. And so it'll probably it's more than likely going to be Granddaddy IU. The only thing that's different is, is the Facebook is the original Granddaddy. But yeah, and um, what else? What else? Um, as far as the app, that shit going to be everywhere. And plus, um, I got GranddaddyIU.com too. So I got free music on there. I think it's that, you know what I'm saying? Is in doubt going to say, get some free shit and check me out. You know, I never fell off. No doubt, man. Hey, uh, like I said before, we definitely appreciate you taking time out, man, to chop it up with us, man, give us a little bit of, you know, history for the fans who might not know and those who know to get back reacquainted, man, and, you know, letting everybody know that you're still doing your thing. You're still out here, man. It's real hip-hop, and it's still alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we we definitely going to be checking, man, for the new joint. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get on, man, and uh, and on this website myself, and 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 get back on this music, man, with you, and you know, definitely uh, check out the Sadat X video. I know that's on YouTube yeah. already, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. She said. She said. Are you featuring Sadat X? Yep. No doubt, man. Like I said, uh, once you, once you uh, you know get the album out, you know, get with me, man. We can get you back on and definitely promote that album for you. That's what's up. Hey, uh. Once again, thanks a lot, man, for, you know, chopping it up with us for a moment. Mm-hmm. And that's all I have for Mike Check Media, myself, and Carolyn, man. We appreciate you. All right, no doubt. All right, hey, this is your man, K Boogie, man. We signing off, baby, for Mike Check Media. Peace. Peace.